Finisher. Oh, that's sick. For the past couple months, the Apex Legends hype train has been going on really strong. And today, it all came at a culmination with the release of one of the most hyped characters in the game's history, The Revenant. And with that, we also had one of the best guns that I, I think I've seen in recent history with the Sentinel. This gun, it absolutely shreds along long distances. So let's get into all the new content that has come with this season. With season four comes Revenant, the new legendary hero for Apex. All right, so the Revenant's passive ability is Stalker. This means that the Revenant can crouch walk faster than other heroes, and he can also climb up higher, climb up higher along walls. And this is like incredible. One of the things you have to understand about crouching is that while you're crouching, you're silent. So the enemies can't hear your footsteps. And I've tested this out and when he crouches, like you don't feel slow at all. And it's really weird because in any FPS game I'll play, whenever you crouch, you're like really, really slow. And this kind of changes the kind of style of the way you're going to play this character. Because when you crouch, you're actually pretty fast. And there's been many situations where, in, where I just crouch while I'm in indoors if I'm, you know, fighting with some other uh, team. So crouch walking is definitely really fast. And here, you know, I'm, I'm going to compare it with uh, here. I'm crouching with Watson and you can see the difference when I change eventually to Revenant. You know how much of a difference it is when it comes to crouching. So this is a massive uh, change and I think it'll definitely change your playstyle with how you do, how you use Revenant. Um, another thing that you have to kind of understand is that you can also climb higher uh, the walls and the buildings that are in this game, which is really good because that means that early game when you land, if you feel like, you know, someone is on the low ground, then you can just climb up a building and loot up there. And this can this means that all of a sudden it uh, opens up new flanking routes when you're fighting with other characters. So I think his passive abilities are incredibly strong. And I think this guy, uh, my initial thoughts are that just his passive abilities alone will make him, you know, a top tier pick. And, you know, I haven't even gotten to his tactical and ultimate yet. So, you know, let's get to his tactical ability, which I think is, you know, incredibly strong. He, he essentially silences whoever he targets with his uh, Q. So one of the things you have to understand about this is that, you know, essentially when you press Q, whatever direction you're aiming in, he will throw the ability in that direction. So you don't have to press Q and then press left click. It's just as soon as you press Q, whatever direction you're aiming in, he will throw essentially what looks like kind of a grenade. You know, it's kind of, think of it as a grenade that kind of explodes on impact. So it does have AOE. That's, that's another crazy thing about this ability is that you can silence multiple characters at the same time. So if there's like a two or three groups, if there's a group of two or three players that are maybe looting, you can flank them with this ability. And now all of a sudden you're going up against three players that can't even use their abilities, which is insane. And then at the same time, this thing also deals 10 damage. So all of a sudden, you're dealing 10 damage and it also has kind of a disorienting effect on the screen like you know when you're hit when you're hit by the arc star you kind of get that you know blue sparkling effect you know and you're kind of dis you're kind of disoriented this thing kind of has that same thing but at the same time it also locks up all your abilities which is incredibly strong and it lasts for 10 seconds guys like most fights i know last for 10 seconds so this is a massive ability so th that that goes over his tactical si uh, tactical ability, which is silence, which again makes him really good. And I haven't even gotten to his ultimate ability, which we're going to talk about now. So his, his ultimate ability, he tri pretty much drops a death totem. Revenant's ultimate ability is insane because once you drop your totem and you press E, you'll have this effect on you where if you die, you will come back to the totem with 20 health, and you know you're you're not going to be down. Um, so this is an ex extremely important and extremely powerful. Another important thing to note about the totem is that once you press E and you're in the ability, the thing is that it's going to ignore your shield health. It's only going to take your normal base health into account. So when you go into a fight and you take damage, your shield health will, will actually stay at 100% and only your base health will you know, go down until it goes down to zero, at which point you will respawn the totem with 20 health and your shield health will be full. Now this is pretty decent because once you die fully, you just come back to the totem. All you have to do is, you know, take some cover, pop a med kit, pop a couple syringes, and you're good to go. And you can go back into a fight with full health and full shields. 
don't be like me and just put the totem down and run into a fight without pressing E because I made that mistake. Um, if you put the totem down and if you don't press E, that effect is still not applied on you, so you won't come back to the totem and you will actually die. So make sure when you put the totem down, make sure you press E and then go into the fight because now the effect is applied onto you. So guys, this ability is actually like broken and um, I, I don't know, like to me, his kit is incredibly strong and I think um, he's just going to be top tier for a while. And you know, if you have him on his team, he's going to help you because his ability alone is insane because it gives you two chances at a fight. Just think about that, two chances at a fight. So this hero is uh, great. I think he meets up with the hype. I think the trailer was insane and you know, and that's not even it, right? Like we have also a new weapon, the Sentinel. This, this sniper is, is ridiculous because it shreds from long distances. Oh, a 62. Ooh. So this sniper hits for 130 headshot from, you know, any distance and um, it hits for a body shot of 65, which is ridiculous because, you know, 130 headshot then removes all your shields and, you know, gets you down to like 70 health if you have, you know, a gold shield. Now, on top of that, so like one of the things is like you have to look at this sniper as like a bolt action uh, rifle, and but it just has a massive punch packed at the back, but behind it, and it has that uh, reload. It has once you shoot one bullet, it kind of has an animation where it has to kind of reload a bullet into the slot. Um, so there's that kind of delay, but I think the sniper is something that is good at long and short distances because you know close range you can kind of use this you know while you're jumping around and strafing left and right and you can it can still be pretty effective and it will still really hit hard worst case scenario close range in a fight you're hitting 65 with one bullet that's not too bad especially if your second weapon is like a is like an R99 that you can just spray and you know finish off your opponent or if it's something like like a like a shotgun that you can again just you know dump into your opponent so it's not it's not bad i think it's i think it's a really really good gun and it's definitely something that i look forward to using now when it comes to map design there's been you know five i would say major updates that have been done to the map to change kind of you know the field of play the five different things that have been added are the planet harvester which has some new options you know for gameplay and then capital city has been split into two then there's updrafts near capital city where if you jump down um, the draft will actually bring you back up so it has kind of so it's kind of a new movement ability you know in the game and then there's a survey camp you know near snowy fields and they also added this thing called weapon racks that have like guaranteed weapons placed on the racks in the small buildings of survey camp and you know you'll recognize them from the training or the firing range and this should give you know players who prioritize a good weapon over a premier drop location a new decision to make Anyways guys, that's that pretty much covers the core of the updates in the season 4. Um, looking forward to the new map, looking forward to the new hero and the and the new gameplay and the new new weapons and you know it's gonna be fun. There's obviously also a battle pass. So you know thanks for watching the video guys. I'm gonna go back to playing some more. Um, you guys can catch me on Twitch and you know, I stream on there regularly. I'll be playing a lot of Apex, I'll be playing a lot of Revenant on there lately. So you catch me on there. Thanks for the support, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.